Welcome back to Crisco's Corner. Unfiltered commentary, not your truth, the real truth. And as always, thank you for your support. Hi, folks. Welcome back. From Fox News, fallen NYPD detective Jason Rivera's grieving widow calls out Manhattan DA Bragg in heartbreaking eulogy. NYPD detective Jason Rivera and officer Wilbert Mora died after they were shot by a domestic violence suspect. The most dangerous calls, from what I understand, are domestic calls for police. Where's Black Lives Matter? Where's the protests? More than twice as many cops have been killed in the line of duty, more than twice, than so-called unarmed non-white people have been shot by police. Over twice as many. Yet where is the, where is the, where is the protests? Where are they? The answer is nowhere but they don't fit the narrative of power and control. Unless the progressive Democrats are wiped off the face of the earth, politically, of course, it made so irrelevant that there is, there is as re- irrelevant as the real white supremacists are, this will never stop. And in order to do that, you have to cast out politically all progressives and Democrats from our system until the Democrat party can rebuild itself into a viable party again. Let's read on. The grieving widow of slain NYPD detective Jason Rivera called out New York city's newly elected district attorney in a system that continues to fail us during her heartbreaking eulogy at her fallen husband's funeral Friday, Dominique, Luz Rija Rivera fought tears as she recalled growing up with and ultimately marrying her longtime love and the moments that their lives changed forever. It, it, this is heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Where's the protest? Where are the people that supposedly give a damn? Rivera, only 22, was shot and killed just one week earlier when he and his partner, Wilbert Morrow, were responding to a domestic violence call. Rivera was posthumously promoted to detective first grade. Morrow, who was shot in the head, died several days after the shooting. And there she is there. Her lifetime love. We'll never see him again. Never see him again. I'm going to say this straight out. Progressive policies are killing people by the thousands. Progressive policies are killing police officers by the dozens and dozens. My understanding is this is the highest number of police officers killed in a calendar year in the history of the United States. Somebody proved me wrong. The system continues to fail, fail us, she said. We are not safe anymore, not even the members of the service. Rivera went on to talk about how her husband was tired of these laws, especially the ones from the new DA. He was only 22, and he thought it was ridiculous, and he was tired of them. The newly elected New York City District Attorney, Alvin Bragg, announced in one of his first days in office that he would be applying less stringent policies for prosecuting certain crimes. He let her clarify the controversial memo, saying it gave the wrong impression. No, you didn't give the wrong impression at all. You said exactly what you thought. And you people elected him. Stop voting for Democrats. For the next five years minimum, 10 would be better. Wipe these people off the face of the earth politically is the only solution. And there he is there. During her speech on Friday, Rivera said she hoped the newly minted DA was watching you speak through me right now. Bragg was in the audience at the time, Fox has confirmed. 
in a statement provided via email to Fox News shortly after. Now, he didn't even mention the fact that he's letting people out of jail with no bail. He said, grieving and praying for Detective Rivera and Officer Moore today and every day. You scumbag. That was a perfect opportunity to say maybe, just maybe, what I believe in the policies that I've been pushing are wrong, counterproductive, and kill people. We will start changing them as of today. No, you had to give out your blanket response, which means he hasn't changed his mind at all. My thoughts are with their families in NYPD. I'm going to say it right out. Bullshit. Violence against officers will never be tolerated. Okay. You're directly responsible for this one. My office will vigorously prosecute cases of violence against police and work to prevent senseless acts like this before ever happening again. Lie, lie, lie. You're letting out hundreds and tens of thousands because of your bail reform. How's that go? If you don't want to do the time, don't commit the crime. It's disgusting and appalling. What happens when people go out and march in support of law enforcement at all levels? They're heckled, they're ridiculed, they're things thrown at them. They're not protected. They're not protected at all. But what happens if BLM, Antifa, and any of those scumbags come out? They're protected by these same officers. There's something wrong with this, folks. I respect the people in law enforcement. I've always been endorsed by them in every election I've ever ran in upstate New York. Stop protecting and doing the bidding of these progressive Democrats, period. Stop dragging people out of restaurants. Stop arresting people for walking their dog down the street. Stop, stop, stop. Tell these progressive leaders that these morons voted in, no, I'm not doing that. Just like in the military, you can refuse an order if it's an unlawful or illegal act. No different. Please. The list of your allies is growing shorter. I'm sure all the families in blue, blue are tired too, Rivera continued, but I promise, we promise that your death won't be in vain. Rivera said her husband had been so happy to see, would be so happy to see the crowds honoring him through pain and sorrow. Before she stepped down for the podium, she said, and this is pretty moving and pretty powerful. I promise, we promise that your death won't be in vain. I love you to the end of time. We'll take the watch from here. Must have been an incredible moment. I bet you could have heard a pin drop. Earlier in the ceremony, a police commissioner posthumously promoted Rivera to detective first grade. Only 22 years, Jason found the woman in the career of his dreams. Many don't accomplish that in their entire lifetimes. He was a man of unbound generosity, humble heart. He showed us how to be better. His selfless, act, selfless acts of humility and been remembered over the past year. He also added, his loss is extremely difficult for us to bear. Jason rose to every challenge that, that crossed his path. He was everything the city and the NYPD needed him to be. And now he's dead. And there he is. And what about his widow? What about his widow? When are you people going to stop voting for these progressive Democrats? Stop, stop, stop. If you can't bring yourself to vote for a Republican because you'll turn to stone, then don't vote for anybody. Write your own name in. This has to stop.
Sorry about that. Lost my temper a little. Until the next time, goodbye and good luck.